from eye-popping settlement amounts to headline-making allegations. Celebrities definitely have divorces that make us question if we really want to get married ourselves. Hi, I'm Stacey Taylor and today I'm counting down the top 10 most expensive celebrity divorces of all time. At number 10 we have Dr. Dre and Nicole Young. After 18 months of a legal battle back and forth, rapper and producer Dr. Dre was finally able to finalize his divorce from Nicole Young with a hundred million dollar settlement. Under the terms of the settlement, Nicole would get 50 million immediately and another 50 million in one year after. However, Nicole would not be eligible for spousal support and Nicole would also be able to leave the marriage with all of her jewelry as well as four vehicles which included a Rolls Royce, Range Rover, Escalade and a Spider motorcycle. Nicole was required to move out of the Malibu beach home that she was currently living in and she had to pay her own legal fees under the agreement. Dr. Dre who is worth more than 820 million will keep a large sum of his wealth including his master recordings, trademarks and interest in various partnerships and trust. He also was able to retain all of his Apple stocks which included all of the proceeds from his sales of Beats by Dre, which Apple bought back in 2014 for $3 billion. The musician was also able to keep six of the vehicles and seven of the couple's properties. Nicole initially filed for divorce in 2020, citing a that led to her PTSD, and Dre has since denied the allegations. At number nine, we have Bill Gates and Melinda Gates. After being married for 27 years, the couple split due to the fact they believed that they couldn't grow as a couple into the next phase of their lives. Now, court documents did show that the two had a private separation agreement in place, but not a prenup. Since the two shared so much of their professional life together, untangling their assets definitely became a complicated process. The couple had several properties and Bill had a net worth of around $152 billion prior to the divorce, meaning he and Melinda can now each be only worth $76 billion. The couple also shares a handful of luxury planes and cars, and they run their namesake foundation, which is worth more than $40 billion. Now, both have agreed to continue to work together at the foundation as they continue its mission of helping people around the world lead healthy, productive lives. If you're liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. At number 8 we have Jeff and Mackenzie Bezos. Jeff and Mackenzie's divorce settlement is the largest divorce settlement in history to ever occur. When the divorce settlement was made official, Jeff had to hand over a 4% stake in Amazon and he also had to transfer Amazon shares worth $38 billion into Mackenzie's name. Now, Mackenzie is an author and she's now become the fourth richest woman and has already promised to give away at least half of her fortune. Now, despite handing over a vast sum of money, Jeff will still still remain the world's richest individual with a $118 billion fortune. He has also given $2 billion of his wealth to Bezos Day One Fund to help address homelessness and improve education for children and low income families. Jeffs also congratulated his former wife in a tweet linking her given pledge letter which encourages the world's richest people to commit to giving away at least half of their wealth to charity. At number 7 we have Paul McCartney and Heather Mills. Now, Paul McCartney's divorce to Heather Mills cost him $48.7 million. The couple would call it quits in 2006, however their divorce wasn't complete until 2008. And once they finalized their divorce, it came to a hefty penny for Paul. When all was said and done, Paul would have to pay Heather $48.7 million. And on top of that, Heather would receive $70,000 a year for child support, which would later leave Paul to this day to say that his marriage to Heather was the biggest regret of his life. Ouch. To make matters worse, the media was constantly getting involved and in 2007 why Heather was trying to speak at a charity campaign fundraiser, a reporter asked her if she was the woman that took Paul's money. At number 6 we have Mel Gibson and Robin Moore. In 2006, Robin decided to separate from her husband Mel after Mel was caught driving under the influence. At the time, Mel and Robin didn't have a prenup agreement which meant she was entitled to walk away with at least half of his earnings that he made in the last 30 years they were married. Married. With Mel's net worth being only $850 million at the time, Robin would be entitled to receive about $425 million. In addition, she would also pick up 50% of the pension benefits that Mel built up during the 31 years of marriage. During this settlement, it outlined his ex-wife would also get half of his film rights and she was entitled to a split of his director's Guild of America pension and half of the benefits he accumulated through their production company. At number 5 we have Denise Richards 
Richards and Charlie Sheen. Now, Denise Richards and Charlie Sheen had a bumpy marriage, and Denise decided to pull the plug on their marriage when she was only a few months pregnant with the couple's second child. In 2006, their divorce was finalized, however, the couple hadn't signed a prenup. Considering Charlie appeared on Two and a Half Men, making millions during their marriage, Charlie would be responsible to pay 50% of the earnings and assets made from their marriage. However, Denise has claimed that she never saw any of the sitcom money, and Charlie has over $450,000 in unpaid child support. According to several inside sources, Charlie pays Denise $80,000 to cover the cost of their $2, and he also pays the same amount to his other ex-wife, Brooke Mueller, for their two children. However, Charlie's once $220 million net worth is no longer in the state it was, and most of it went towards his risk behavior rather than to his spouses and children. At number 4, we have James Cameron and Linda Hamilton. After being married for 18 months, James and Linda decided to call off their marriage and their divorce would cost James a hefty penny. Now. Linda would come forward to say that she and James had decided to split due to James having an affair with an actor from the Titanic while James was a film producer on the set. The love triangle would ultimately dissolve James and Linda's marriage, and in 1999, the couple's divorce would be finalized and Linda would receive $50 million in a settlement. At number three, we have Harrison Ford and Melissa Matheson. Now, Harrison Ford and Melissa have been divorced now for two decades. However, their divorce still remains one of Hollywood's most expensive divorces. Divorces. Now, the couple decided to part ways ultimately because they thought that the absence would make their hearts grow fonder for each other. And after being married for 21 years, Melissa would file for a divorce in 2001. Since the couple never arranged a prenup agreement when they wed, there was a three year long battle before they were able to reach a settlement. In 2004, Melissa would be awarded $85 million and she would also be able to receive part of Harrison's future earnings from Indiana Jones in the fugitive sale. At number two, we have Adele and Simon Kanuki. Now, Adele and Simon's divorce had to be one of the messiest and unfair divorces Hollywood has ever seen for a while. Who can forget that photo of Adele screaming at Simon in tears when he took almost all of her money? When Adele finalized her divorce from Simon, she would have to pay the CEO a settlement of $140 million out of her $190 million net worth. Of course, when this news came to light, a lot of men were stoked at the prospect of Adele having to hand over $100 million and said Simon deserved the large amount. However, considering women are still paid less than men in most workplace settings, the fact that Adele had to fork over two thirds of her hard earned fortune is insane. What Adele's divorce has taught us is that no money is ever safe in a marriage. If you're a celebrity or a billionaire and you're thinking about getting married, make sure you get that prenup ready. At number one, we have Princess Diana and King Charles. Now it's no lie that Diana lost a lot when her time as a royal came to an end. When the royal marriage dissolved, it's clear that even princesses don't always have their fairy tale ending. After the two announced their separation in 1992, Queen Elizabeth would strip Diana's royal titles at the behalf of Charles' insistence, and Diana would then need to curtsies to anybody in the royal family, and this included her sons. Despite losing her royal title, Diana did gain some money. Now, neither side officially disclosed details of anything Diana would get, however, a newspaper would later leak that Diana would receive. 22.5 million plus another 600,000 salary a year to pay for her private office. So that's all for this video, and I hope to see you again in the next one.